solution in the Zoom platform in Contact Center. Um, the way that we think about Contact Center has definitely changed over the last few years. You know, no longer is Contact Center really about a cubicle farm with 50, 60, 100 plus agents just dialing for dollars or answering customer service calls. No, Contact Center is really about those power users in your organization that drive revenue, that enhance the bottom line, um, that provide those touch points for your clients, customers, members. Um, they're the power users of your organization, really the, the true touch point to the people that matter the most. So Zoom has enhanced a contact center solution that is now part of the Zoom One package. And today we're going to get some exposure to that environment and um, the person behind the demonstration and the presentation today is Mr. Eric Truax. So I will step aside and let you do your thing, Eric. Thank you so much for being a part of today's presentation. Um, and thank you so much. I am super excited to be here. This is going to be a great time. Uh, and we get to talk about uh, Zoom customer experience. And, and really, you nailed it on the head when you talked about the evolution and where it's going from the day when we used to call it a call center, right? So I'm a little longer in the tooth than many. Um, I worked for Avaya back in the day, around the turn of the century, before they were even called Avaya. And they had one of the world's most premier call centers. Now, you had to call the call center because that's the only thing they could do was make and receive calls. So they were very limited. Powerful engine, great product back in the day. You know, I, I loved working with them. That's not the case anymore. We have evolved so far beyond that into a world of multi-channel experiences, omni-channel experiences that enable us to meet the customers where they're at. And that is one of the keys to success as far as Zoom is concerned, is delivering happiness through engagements that are meaningful and impactful and to the users. On there. So, so I wanted to show you real fast, this is what the agent interface looks like. Um, I actually have an engagement going here, prior one. So this is the disposition code. I'm gonna call it deal closed. I'm gonna show you three different interfaces, right? So this is what the agent looks like. Remember I talked about all the different options across there. This agent's name is Cal, uh, Cal Centers, because you know I'm not original when it comes to naming people. Um, and then we have the supervisor here. His name is uh, Frank Lee, because once again, now if you notice, there's different options that Cal has compared to Frank. Uh, Frank is currently occupying a call, uh, or Frank is not, not ready. Um, and I could have him go ready right here with different options on the different cues that available to. And Cal is currently in a call. All of my different options are things uh, are across there. Real quick, let's go back over to our interface here. And we are ready to go. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is we're going to do a web chat. So this is uh, a mock-up of what a customer environment can look like. We provide the ability to have these options, right? The ability to have buttons through a simple uh, web SDK plugin that you can easily load on any website. You can customize what these buttons look like. You can put them as different things on the screen. For the purposes of a demo, I just threw it up here. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a new chat with our chat bot. And it's gonna say, how can I help you? You can customize all of these functions right here. Uh, and I'm gonna say, Tell me about uh, Zoom contact center. Now, this is me interacting with Zoom virtual agent. There is nothing from the agent or supervisor point of view going on that they're aware of. At this point in time, it's going, oh, hey, here's some information. Now, I will say, I kind of cheated on this. I didn't want this demo to take too long, so I went ahead and had it go quickly to an agent. I can determine how long Zoom, Zoom virtual agent's tolerance is on how many failures or successes before it goes to an agent. But I want to do it quickly because I want to show you what the agent experience is. So remember, I'm starting on a web chat. I'm going to say, yes, it was helpful. Now, normally you would just resolve it from there, but I'm actually going to tell it to go there. Glad I could help. Oh, I'm going to pretend it failed. Now, one of the things I did first, and this is just for the fun of it, I'm, I'm able to write uh, a quick little script that sends this engagement out to a website, say, hey, you want to hear a dad joke first? By the way, never discount the value of joy. 
uh, and a little bit of humor in this. So yeah, I would love to hear a, a dad joke. Now, at this point in time, it's literally just referencing a site. This has never led me too wrong. So how do you get two whales in a car, start in England and drive west? That's pretty funny. They're normally funny. They haven't been too racy yet. So at this point in time, you notice right in their bottom, it says Cal joint. I'm going to flip over to that agent and see what happened. So because this agent was available, because it was a web chat, it's automatically offered and brought right up. I'm able to see the interaction that happened previously. I'm also able to see the history of the engagement, more information that was there. And to make sure I'm aware of what's going on with there. I'm also able to see others. So with um, SMS and web chat, we allow our agents to handle multiple engagements at once. You can choose how your your that varies for you because they're non-immediate communications. Now, when it comes to things like voice and video, only one at a time. It would be very difficult to handle multiple video engagements at once. I guess not impossible, but very unlikely. So another thing I'm going to do is actually bring up my text here. And I'm going to go uh, and text this real quick from my phone. So at this point in time, I'm starting an SMS conversation with that. And that should be engaging with us in a second. So, but I'm going to say, uh, how can I help you today? Uh, and over there, I'm going to flip between these kind of quick. Uh, right here. Uh, upgrades, people. Now, normally I would have a longer conversation going. I would be asking about things. I could send links. I could reply with information like a support article, something like that. I would be engaging in a little bit longer form. I'm going to hurry it up a little bit because there's a feature I want to show you, which is the ability to upgrade this conversation automatically. So we go over here and uh, upgrade to video, question mark. At this point in time, I'm offering the ability to upgrade that. Before we go too far, I do want to show you what it looks like from the uh, point of view of the supervisor. So there is a messaging conversation going on right there and I can see what's going on. This is the supervisor. Obviously, uh, this is my lab. I don't have a lot of people logged in, but if you had tens, you know, dozens, hundreds of agents, you can see whichever ones the supervisors are going to be in charge of. Whichever cues the supervisors are, are generally around 10 to 20. But that number can vary based on your specific instance. Um, I'm able to look and see exactly what's going on, see this conversation. I can participate in the conversation if I want to. So the supervisor has the ability to see what's going on with that. Now, I did say that I was going to upgrade to video. So uh, normally I'd wait for a reply. I'm going to then hit the video call, send an upgrade. Now at this point in time, I'm going to do a little divide by zero action. And I'm going to flip over to here and you're going to see an option. Now, Important distinction here, you do not have to have the Zoom client for any of this from the customer point of view. This is done entirely on the web page. There is no need to install a Zoom client or anything else. The only thing you have to do, and I shouldn't have to do it here, is enable your microphone and camera on the web. That's a pretty standard thing. A lot of people are used to that. But it's going to then bring up. Now, because this is on the same computer, it automatically brought up my agent interface on here. This is now in there from the consumer's point of view. It brought up and said, hey, what's this look like? And let's see if it's going. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Hey, um, it brought up that interface. And now I can choose to continue. You can decide not to have your video on and still be in the video where you can see them. They can't see you. That's a completely acceptable option. Hit continue. At this point in time, it's creating that video interaction with the agent to flip back over to the agent here. And now this is the agent's interface and they're able to see this. I can turn on video. I'm not gonna turn off mic because it would go, oh, of course, yeah, my camera's being taken by something else. Uh, what about if I use that one? No, never mind. it's busy. So multiple things running on one machine, that's, that's what we get. But I'm able to have this communication. I'm able to see what this looks like from here. At this point in time, this, they, they knew who I am. By the way, I can also go back to chat and I can see all of the previous information there. All of that is retained and still a part of that 
that engagement. Notice something else in here, and this is probably one of the best things, I can share screen. Imagine how easy customer support. You didn't see me get an email installing a special tool that I don't really trust that gives admin rights to everything. No, I'm able to show the support person exactly what's going on with my desktop right here. Sharing that just that easy. Bringing that into the uh, engagement without a ton of difficulty. Now, I'm not actually going to share anything right there because um, that's just, you know, all my desktops are crazy right now. So this engagement continues to go on. I can also go over here and I can see that this engagement is right here. The supervisor is able to see what's going on, able to stay informed with what's going on. Once again, if I had multiple ones in here, I'm going to see them all and I can choose how I want to interact. I can barge in on that. I can take over on that. I can whisper to the person, let them know what's going on. So all of those traditional supervisor roles and functions inside of a, a contact center solution are brought into here. We just simply democratize it and send it all over the world. Okay, so we're going to go back over here and I'm going to say, hey, this was a great engagement. I feel really positive about this. I'm going to go ahead and leave. And so that's going to end that engagement. Started out as a web chat, upgraded the video, got the full interaction. Now, from the agent's point of view, I got a couple of things that I can do from here. I can set my dip dispositions. Dispositions are the quick notes on how we ended this. Uh, it was super great. And uh, the deal closed. We, we got it done right there. I can also add notes, which then become part of the customer record going forward. Uh, you resolve that and you automatically go back to ready. Okay, so I just showed you a ton of information, a uh, ton of things, and this was just the briefest glimpse of a look inside of what it looks like to have a contact center. I didn't even get into the really cool, super advanced stuff. If you want to see that, let's schedule some time to actually go through a little bit further and more in depth individually. We love to do proof of concepts with our customers to take a look at the, what this could do inside of your environment. So make sure to reach out to Matrix get them involved in saying, hey, I'd like to take a deeper look into what this could look like as a solution for our environment. Because then we can have individual conversations on what the metrics and successes and failures would look like for your environment to make sure we're addressing those. 